What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. And today we're talking about some upcoming hooping sneakers, some sneakers to play basketball in. Let me know what you guys think about each and every one of them. If there's anything here you will wear for casual wear or for on the court, of course, let me know that in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First dropping on October 31st is a Nike Zoom Air Flight 95 light or wood and brown retailing for 185 light or wood brown is the upper with the black detailing throughout the shoe multicolored bug eyes on the side of it red blue and yellow is the color scheme for those let me know what you guys think about the black rubber outsole and just this design overall a classic shoe will you hoop in these Next, we got another colorway of the Puma MB01 Iridescent Dreams, retailing for 125, dropping on August 22nd. This shoe is different. It's kind of crazy that it's dropping on a Monday. Triple black, pretty much, or black black with the silver hints. Let me know if you got a feeling this MB01. And if you hoop in the MB01 overall, give us some feedback in the comments below. Next on our list is a classic sneaker for hooping, but a lot of people wear for casual wear. The Air Max Penny One the Home Colorway retailing for $170, dropping on August 25th. White, white with the uh, Orlando Blue Colorway. This one is fire. If you can keep white shoes clean, this is something you might want to add to your collection. Let me know if you guys will be hooping in the pennies or wearing these for casual wear. This shoe is fire, one of the top ones in my list overall. Let me know your overall opinions and rate it from a one to 10 scale in the comments below. Next, I saw some fire up tempos that are hitting the market pretty soon. I do not have a release date. These are definitely dope retailing for, I believe, 175 with the better materials on here. It kind of has that canvas with the suede, almost gives me an undefeated vibe. Up tempos are great shoes. They're still classic shoes and they are meant for hooping, but people do wear them for casual wear. I haven't seen them on the courts myself though, but if you're somebody out there who hoops in up tempos or wears them for casual wear, give us the feedback on why you guys like these shoes definitely a classic shoe this one from one to ten i get us a solid nine let me know your thoughts next up we have a new colorway of the air jordan why not five or 0.5 this is the latest colorway of the westbrook shoe kind of have a cabana and turf orange gracing the whole shoe right here i think this shoe is fire it does come out with some dope colorways and it's great on the court lightweight a lot of people do like this i get a lot of good feedback on this shoe let me know what you guys think about this colorway and if you guys are feeling this westbrook why not 0.5 overall in the comments below and what will westbrook do next season will it be for the lakers or somebody else comment below Next, we have another great sneaker to hoop in, the Kyrie Low 5 in yet another colorway. This right here has black, white, and metallic gold all over it. I think this shoe is fire. I love the color combination. The Kyrie Low 5s are great on court and for casual wear. I'm somebody who wears basketball shoes for casual wear. Once you break them in, they're perfect for your feet, lightweight. Retail for only 110 or 120 bucks, depending on where and which colorway you get. But overall, I'm a fan of the Kyrie Low 5s. If you're somebody out there who hoops in them give us the feedback for them outdoors and indoors definitely recommended to hoop in these indoors of course but if you get the xdr rubber you can hoop on them outdoors a little bit too next we got another banging colorway of the nike lebron 19 lebronville this one right here is pretty dope detailings all over the shoe the color combination is definitely fire admit one on the toe box letting you know that this is for a carnival ride let me know if you guys are feeling this colorway. There is a lot more details to this shoe. Once we get these things in hand, of course, I will talk about them, but I'm a big fan of this colorway, and I want to know what you guys think of the LeBron 19 lows, and where does this colorway rank among all the other ones that have dropped? Next up, we got some more LeBron Classic Heat with the LeBron 2 USA set for September, and then we have official images of the LeBron 2 Maccabi Tel Aviv, which I think is pretty fire white and gold. Let me know what you guys think about either one of these shoes. If you're a fan of the LeBron 2s, let us know in the comments section which colorways you own or why you like the 2s. I think they're a little different. They might be more for style than hooping. I haven't hooped in these shoes ever. So if you have, of course, give us the feedback. And of the two colorways, the Maccab Tel Aviv or the USA colorway, let me know which one you guys like more. I might have butchered that, but you guys know what it is. One in 10 scale, rate both of these shoes. And and will you guys be trying to cop them? They retail them for $200. And uh, like I said, the USA is dropping in September. And I'm not sure about the other one, but I believe that is also sometime in September as well. 1 to 10 scale, rate these overall. And will you guys be trying to add these to your collection? Sticking with LeBron, we have yet a new sighting of the Nike LeBron 9 Low Liverpool. 
This one right here was originally set in 2012. Now they flipped the colorways with that green and red. I'm impressed by this colorway. I like this one. One in 10 scale, what do you guys think about it? I'm not sure if I like it to really hoop in. It would be more of a casual wear for me, but these are some hooping shoes and I've heard a lot of good things about them. If you're somebody who's hooped in the LeBron 9 lows, of course, give us the feedback or just true to size and do you guys like them? But I think they're very classic sneakers and I love this colorway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next, we have the release date for yet another Nike Air Zoom Flight 95. This is the photo blue dropping for 160. White, photo blue, black, and Ramona Green, or Rona Green is the last colorway. I like this shoe, very classic Jason Kidd. I'm looking for the OG colorway that has set to release. These other colorways are not bad, and this shoe is pretty nice. I want to know what, how it holds up on the court nowadays, but it was a great shoe. If you guys know about Jason Kidd, he was an excellent point guard on the court. He wore these with grace. I want to know what you guys think about these. Very classic shoe. Are they good for now hooping? Of course, let me know, and once I get a pair, you know I'm doing a review. We're getting a lot of classics lately, and this is another classic banger coming back. The Adidas Crazy One Metallic Silver, the Kobe shoe. This silver one is pretty nice. I had this back in the day in, in middle school or high school. I missed the shoe right here. I'm curious to see if there will be any differences in hand. All metallic silver with the black and the little hints of the yellow. One to 10 scale, what do you guys think about this? How many people out there will be getting this to hoop in? I cannot wait to see this actually back on the court and see what these things are actually talking about. One to 10 scale, rate them in the comment section below. Next up, dropping soon is a Reebok Question Mid. This colorway is very unique. Retailing for 160, dropping in the next few weeks. Let me know if you got a fill in this one. It comes constructed with a mix of tumbled, smooth leather with the mesh materials also. Features the signature honeycomb comfort. Let me know if you got a fill in this. I like this colorway, it's kind of different. Cop pass, fire or trash. And what do you guys rate it from a one to 10 score? Iversons are classics, but I'm not sure. One thing I am sure about is this Nike LeBron 20. This one here is pretty dope. Retailing for $200 dropping October 5th. Black, University Red, University Gold, and Light Smoke is a color scheme. This right here is not bad for the 20. It has the knitted upper with the dual lateral swooshes. Let me know if you guys are feeling this one. A lot of people like the 20s more than some of his previous models. Give me your thoughts and opinions, of course, in the comment section below. Next up is a banger from KD and Ninth Wonder. The Nike KD 15 Ninth Wonder uh, drops within the next few weeks for a retail price of 160 as opposed to 150, which is the normal retail price. Great for hooping, a lot of good feedback from hoopers wearing the KD 15 already. This color combination is dope. Pays homage to the Ninth Wonder album Zion 5, Ballad of Charles Dohit from 2020. I like the color scheme, gives me a Phoenix Sun vibe, has a nice graphic on the icy outsole, has a translucent outsole, which I think is a dope touch to this shoe, and it comes with extra laces. Overall, let me know what you think about this KD15 colorway in the comments below. Next, we have the latest budget sneaker from Kyrie. We have the Nike Kyrie Flytrap 6, dropping within the next few weeks. No set retail price point, but the Flytraps are the budget model, so it will be under 100 bucks. The first colorway is pretty much black and white. It does have some marble like pattern between the lateral swooshes. I think that's pretty fire. Has a mixture of the mesh, the durable mesh and leather materials on the upper also. Look forward to seeing this in your local finish lines and Dick Sporting Goods and pretty sure they're gonna come out in multiple colorways. Let me know what you guys think about the silhouette overall. Next, we have the Nike Air More Up Tempo in the Court Purple colorway retailing for 160, and it will be hitting your stores in the next few weeks. I like this color combination, the black with the multicolor and the Court Purple scheme is not bad at all. Has some really good materials. Of course, the Air has the outline with the pink. I think that's kind of different. Yellow contrasting accents, black rubber outsole. You can't go wrong with this shoe. Give me your overall thoughts. Rate it from a one to 10 in the comments below. Next, we got some more heat from Kyrie that was kind of confusing to me because this is deemed the Nike Kyrie 8. White, University, Red, Black, and Wolf Gray dropping for uh, retail we don't know yet, and it's dropping on November 11th. Now, formerly thought to be the Kyrie 9, this right here is confusing because last year's model is the Kyrie Infinity, not the Kyrie 8 which a lot of people thought it was the Kyrie 8 Infinity, but that was just the Kyrie Infinity. Now we have the Kyrie 8 in front of us. New design, mixed materials utilizing the React foam for the midsole or equipped with the Zoom Air strobel. I think that's gonna be a dope effect for his shoe. 
going to be pretty lightweight and very great, you know, equipped, you know, to your foot. I cannot wait to see what these things look like in hand. Of course, when they drop, you know, I'm going to do a review on them. But let me know what you guys think overall about this Nike Kyrie 8, not Kyrie 9. You know, there's so many things up in the air with the contract situation. The Kyrie 9 is going to be the last silhouette, which means he has one more after this. Or some people are saying, like, this is his last sneaker. I'm very confused on that. Let me know what you guys think about the Kyrie 8 overall. And you know the colorways are going to be crazy. But with this silhouette right here, is this something you guys will be grabbing and adding to your collection? Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section below. As you can see, within the next few weeks, we will be getting some banging shoes for hooping in. I want to know your feedback and which shoes you guys are looking forward to the most. A lot to choose from. What do you guys feel like is fire? Which one do you guys feel like is absolute trash? And which one are you guys curious about? Of course, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, share the video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy Bosco Mitchell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.